have no doubt pharmaceuticals. Yet, yeah, um, do you guys make the acetazolamide or not anymore? Or oh, Diamox? Let me show it for you. Okay. Transfer, you know. All right, thanks. Uh, yeah, um, do you guys still make Dynamox at all or not? Do you know? Yeah. Um, can you like answer like a couple questions about some of the side effects or or not like those listed on there? Yeah, your name and number in case we get this message. Okay, yeah. My phone number is nine one eight five seven six. Oh no, sorry, wrong number. <laughs> uh it's nine one Um, well, I was taking it, but then, like, on, like, the side effects part, it says, like, about the tingling and, um, like, pins and needles feeling, you know, that that's a serious side effect and to stop taking it. But then, like, you ask the doctor about it, and then they said that's normal. So it's, like, it was really confusing. Okay. That's all I was wanting to know about. <laughs> something that you that was happening. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I take it for intracranial hypertension. Okay, your name? It's Opal. And Opal, do you mind providing your license? Yeah, it's say S A Y. Okay, hold on one more. Alright. Where's the thing on here? Let me. Which one is there? Yeah. Thanks for holding. Thanks. That is a side effect that can be seen with the product. They call it paresthesia. Uh huh. Where you get a numbness, a numbness or a tingling feeling, either in your extremities or your face. Where are you feeling it? Uh, just like in my legs and, and feet. And then sometimes it's in the hands, but it's mostly in the legs. Okay. And what was your physician telling you? That, that it's normal. Okay, so that's okay, or? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's up to you and the doctor whether or not, you know, how severe it is and whether or not he has any concerns about it. It, it has been seen. It can happen. All right. So it's nothing too much to worry about? Basically, it's between. How long have you been on the product for? Uh, six months. When did it start? Right away. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as you start the medication. Yeah. Okay. I would, uh, have you been in to see the doctor or just talk to them over the phone? Uh, well, I was in, but we just moved to Pennsylvania from Oklahoma, so I haven't seen a new doctor yet. Okay. But the other doctor said that. Even if you want to get a second opinion and speak to them about it, it is one of the more common side effects that have been seen with it. 
Uh-huh. And it's going to be up to the physician whether or not, you know, they feel that the benefits outweigh the risks of the medication. Okay. How well you're able to tolerate it. All right. I just want to make sure it wasn't something like, I don't know, raw or, you know, <laughs> and the doctor just blowing it off. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> no, I, I, I wouldn't think they are. What I am going to do is I'm going to forward it to my drug safety group. Just let them know what you experienced. Yeah. Do you mind providing your address? Cherry Drive. Cherry? Yeah, like C-H-E-R-R-Y. Okay. Yeah. That's Pennsylvania. And where is that? A Hershey, Pennsylvania. And the zip code? Uh, 17033. All right, and I would just follow up with one of the healthcare providers you have in your area where you moved to. All right. Just to review it with them, and if it certainly gets any worse or you know, any other symptoms, I would call them right away. Okay. Okay? All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yep, yeah, bye.